Hello everyone and welcome to a let's play of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. And I've played this game before, I've beaten it before, and uh, yeah, uh, let me type in a uh, name here. And I'm playing this on a uh, emulator, not actually on a Game Boy. Oh wait, there's not enough, there's not enough letters. Fine, it'll be cool. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so here I am. Right here, we tap in a bunch, and here's the story of the game. A long, long time ago, when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by a shadow, or by shadow. The tiny Picori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero dove, drove out the darkness. When peace has been restored, the people were astermished without the blade with it. Astermished with the blade with... Okay, I can't, can't read today. Astermished that blade with care. Here's the start. That door's moving weird. The emulator isn't perfect, so... Yeah. Here's Zelda. She's walking into... Link's house. Oh. Hello there. Good morning, Master Smith. Goodness me, Princess Zelda. Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The mis minister is sure worried about you. You know he, you know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's cool? The whole town is bustling for the annual Picori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Would you mind terribly? I don't think that's how you speak. Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Cool was up late helping me last night, and he's still asleep. I do, but I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that would be fine. Cool, time to get up. And here we go. The legend is cool. Cool, time to get up. You might hear the fan on my computer, but yeah. Here we go. I can run around and stuff. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I'm just gonna go downstairs. Okay. There everybody is. Hey, cool. Princess Zelda is here. She would like to know if you would join her at the festival. Yeah, cool. Come on. Let's go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on. Have fun. And while you're there, can you do a favor? Or do me a favor. I just finished making the sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. Do, 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 do. You said the Smith sword. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it, and while, you're, while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the Prince of Hyrule. You watch over her, don't let anything happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying, we'll be f perfectly safe. Come on, cool, let's go check out the festival. Okay, so, we're making our way to the festival. And you might be seeing me roll a lot and kind of be bad at this game, but I've kind of almost beaten the game. It's just that I wasn't really playing legitly. I was playing with cheats with the emulator. Yeah, so if you like to see me messing around with cheats, then I'll do that. Just comment down below. Well, here we are, the town of Hyrule. I think I missed some text. Here it is. A festival. There's four different stations things. And we're here. Here we are, cool. Doesn't it look fun? 
Come on, let's go look around. Or let's look around here. Hello? Cool. There's a storyteller here. We should go stop and listen to. Oh, I wonder what's over there. Well, I know where she's going everywhere. So the party are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that. Say, wasn't wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won, who won this year. Wow, over there. We have a winner! Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in a drawing. Wow. You get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? First, we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next, we have this magnificent gem. Next, we have this teeny tiny shield. So, which one would you like? Let me guess, the jewel. Oh, but the heart stone is cute too. I want to choose whichever you want, one you like. The shield is so adorable, I think I'll take it. What? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heart stone? It's cute. Those giant gem, it's pretty. Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope, I want the shield. Can I have it? What? A strange princess you are. Well. Okay, here your teeny tiny shield. Hmm? Here, I want to give you a present. Does the shield suit you perfectly? Cool. Princess Zelda gave you a small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. It, it is a little embarrassing though. It's so tiny. Look at me, showing it off. Yep, just as I shot. Just as I thought. You look great. Now if anything... Oh, press the button. Oh, I almost forgot. Now I have to take the Smith's Master Smith Sword to the castle. Let's go, cool. And now, he's still is following us. Here's everybody else. So, I'm gonna try to get through this game quickly. Come on, cool. Let's hurry to the castle. But there's no the wait. That could be dangerous things, like a guy shooting seeds at you. Oh wait, there is. Ouch! It may be a business scrub. I thought I heard one of the soldiers, soldiers talking about. They were saying a dinky scrub had been hassling the passerby. I, I, okay, I press buttons. Okay, so what you want to do to stop this is you hold out the shield and you move over to the side. So you hit it back at him. Please, forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival and I came to town. I was hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have, um, why don't you press the buttons? Everyone got scared and ran away. There's no, and no one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. And there he goes. He's gone. I actually feel a little bit sorry for the business scrub, but that not hurt. Oh well. We won't be hassling anyone. Now, we better get, we better hurry to the castle. Not read today. Okay, here we go. So we're at the castle. There's people around, soldiers. Oh, here's the minister. Oh, cool. You brought the sword, didn't you? Then, as the mis, then as the minister of the kingdom of Hyrule, I, Photo, accept this blade. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm so sorry, Cool, but I better go. I have to prepare the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Since you're here, Cool, why don't you join us at the award award ceremony? Ceremony. You still can't read. <laughs> Ooh, the magical blade at the beginning of the thing. You know about that sword, Cool? It's called the Picori Blade, and it locks much evil away in that chest. The Picori Blade is sacred, sacred among the people of Hyrule. Legend has it that long ago the Picori gave us this blade. However, whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. That's it? You only get to touch it? Nothing else? That's it? You get the sword, though. I mean, 
What else would you want? Let the awards uh, award ceremony commence. Vaddy, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. Vaddy, I think I've heard that name before in a different Legend, Legend of Zelda game. <laughs> to think things would go this well. Koi Blade and the Bound Chest are spoken of in the Highland lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I relieve you of this con contents now. Hmm? It's a laser or something. Hmm, ah ha ha. Do not interfere with me. As Victor, I earned the right to approach the quarry blade. I've been waiting it for this moment. It's a ball of energy. Well, bap. Breaks the sword in half. Oh my gosh. Whoa, the, the chest opened. Oh my god. Oh, what are the bows? Oh no. Oh no, the Legend of Zelda's. Legend of Zelda, her name's not Legend of Zelda. Zelda's protecting herself. Who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess with the mystic aura. The power that is gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies in the royal family. Interesting. If I leave you now, you will only cause me trouble later. That will never do. Stone with you! Well, bap. She's now stone. Ha 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 ha. All those who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now, to find out what power awaits me in this chest. Huh? Huh? Empty? There's nothing inside but a rabble of monsters? What's the meaning of this? Well, I know the force. I'm after this. Um, no, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> there she goes. Fatty is gone. And Link is sleeping. And you have to press a button to wake him up. Okay, so. We just go outside. Here everybody is. Oh no. Oh, cool. You're awake. Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. Welp, that's my name. You're awake. Are you feeling alright? Sit on my side. The king of Hyrule is about to see speak. I thought it said cool, like... Yeah. Okay. It is as you have heard, all heard. A sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her into stone. If we had the sacred Pokori blade, we would likely have broken the curse. But Vaddy shattered the blade. However, I have not given up on hope. What do you know about the Pokori? The Pokori? Not much beyond what the fairy tales say. They're sp supposed to be very tiny, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales? But the Pokori are no, more, no mere legends. They must certainly exist. Oh, no mere legend, okay. No one outside the royal family knows the truth about them. The Nikori who have forged the sacred blade live deep within the Manish woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No, soldiers will not do. The Nikori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers should search for days and still not find any sign of them. Or could search for days. Okay. I see. In that case, then why not send Cool? If Cool has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask. Uh, I would like to ask this of him. Please turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Rikori should know how to create a new secret sword. It will be a a dangerous journey now that those monsters have been freed. Please take this sword with you, along with the broken Pecori blade. Do 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 do. You accepted you. You accepted the broken Pecori blade. This this is part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred sword. Okay, don't lose it. You got the Smith sword. It's a sharp blade, made by your grandpa. 
your great father. Very well, then. Send the soldiers to search for Whitey at once. Deep within the Middish Woods, you will find a place called the Deep Wood Shrine. Once humans and Picori shattered that shrine as a shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started to your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start and I'll yeah. Okay. Mark the location of the forest. Be careful and good luck. Or good luck and be careful. You got a map of Hyrule. No, you'll never get lost. So where we need to go. I'm counting on you, cool. You're the only one that could break Fatty's curse and free the Princess Zelda. Or free Princess Zelda. Okay. okay. So we're gonna make our way to the front of the castle and go all the way to that mark. So this is one of my favorite Zelda games. It actually is my favorite Zelda game. I don't know why it just is. I really like it. Okay. I'll, I'll be surprised if it crashes or anything. That would be... Mean. Oh no! There is a monster. Oh no, there's another monster. So if we go down... Down here... So, uh, the way back is all blocked off now. So we're gonna make our way. Hey look, I can chop this up now. Okay, wait, there we go. Get our controls. This is these guys that like to jump up. Oh, wait! I just remembered something. At the start of the game, you're probably wondering why I didn't pick up that chest. Because there was a chest at the start of the game, and I just remembered about it. Huh. <sighs> I'm gonna get a lot of angry comments about that. So I think we have to go down. Make our way down here, kill all these guys. Go over this bridge, yeah. And we'll be here, the Minish Woods. And kill that guy. Cut some grass up. And yeah, um. Oh look, a hidden door here. Ow, it actually hurts. Didn't know that. I never run into one of those. And there's another hidden door up there too. I'm wondering how we get in there. So what we have to do to do this, I think we have to go... I've never went up here before. What is this way? Oh, okay. I'm not gonna go that way then. Oh, I fell in the water. There's a slime. Okay, so we're supposed to supposed to go down here. Go all the way over here, past over here, and go up now this way. And go up here. It's right here. And somebody yells, help, help me! And all the way back over there. Ouch! Somebody stop them. There's a bird thing. Ow, ow, can somebody help? I can't hear. Can I? Can't anybody hear me? And then Link's like, "Oh no! I need to go. I need to find that man. I need to go get him." He's like, "Ah! ah, ah I need to go get him." So you go back all the way up here, rolling your whole way, probably getting brain sick. Is that even a thing? I don't think that's a thing. Hey, kid, you there? Ow! Don't just stand there. Let's do something. Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Let's make them speak. Hey, don't hate my friend. Phew. Well done. That was close. Now, not that I could handle myself. Or handle them myself. Could it? <sighs> I can't read. <laughs> that's, but that's besides the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Oh, ho, I see. The Bakora, you say, and Fatty? Fatty's curse someone? What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I, am, I too am on a quest to break the curse of Fatty's. 
And you say that reforging the sacred blade can break this curse, eh? Well then, you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Elzo. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay, let's walk. Wait, wait, wait. Or wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly. Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed I have no legs. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Ugh! If, if it isn't one thing, it's another. You are some troublesome boy. And you got on my head. There, now you can't possibly leave me behind. My, it's sure comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. I can't... Can't you sit still there? Yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If you press my insight, press select, and I'll be happy to help. Ah, oh, such a hopeless child. So yeah, I can press select, and that's, that's not... Okay, look, and it tells me. I didn't try to sell them in, and you're bothering me? Deepa Shrine lies, obviously enough, deep in the heart of the East Woods. So it says, my superior intuitive sense, intuitive sense. Now, get a move on. Okay, my chair just made a noise. So, we have to go over here and then this thing. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We have stumbled across something of important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far from, you're far too big to meet them now. Eh? Who are the Minish? Ah, uh, yes, silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Pecori, but they are referred themselves to the Minish. How f strange how in the world of humans, only this forest has kept me that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they've built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we well, must, we'll have to make you a touch small at first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, that stump is a portal used by the people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to report normal stand, stay next to stump, press R. Get up there. Okay, so this is kind of the main thing. About this, if I press R, it will do that. It will sing a bunch, do some weird things, and I'll shrink down. Yeah, boink, boink, boink. Point. And there I am. That's me. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's just talking about portals and where to go. Oh, yeah. So this is me. I can swing my sword and I can roll. That's literally all that I can do in this, in this one. That's it. Okay, so I, can, I could go this way. I'm gonna actually go this way. Yeah. And then. See these things, these stumps, or these lily pads, and you have to ride across on here and go into the village. So now I can roll. It looks like I'm big, but I'm actually really small. That's why everything is like this. Okay, so here I am. Minish Village. Hmm, it appears we have found the Minish Village here. Hmm? What are those th uh, guys? Picori Picori? Or Pico Pico Picori? Picori Capri Picori Capri Papi. And then they run off. I gather it's been quite some time since they last seen a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah, yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's very different in dialect, as I am most familiar with it. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said to myself. Perhaps there's something we should look around. Yeah, we need to find. A jabbernut. That's what he said. So if we make our way on up here and go up here, I mean this guy. Hmm. I have never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? I. Oh my. It's been quite some time since the humans came here. My name is Festari. I watch a. Uh, I watch the Abbey, as well as the shrine to the north. You seem to have. You seem to be having trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a jabbernut. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one of those in the barrel house just south of here. So now we have to go all the way down here to the barrel house. 
that thing over there. Here. This is the barrel house. Go down. And then you walk up here in our first puzzle. Done. <laughs> that was it. That was the puzzle. Oh, cool. <laughs> this must be the jabbernut. The story I told you about. Well, you'd better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the jabbernut. You can now understand the language of the Minish. Wish that was possible in your life, and you just understand any language. Now I can go up to one of these guys. So of being the Jabberknot, now you can understand us. The other said the humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing they can see us. It is indeed. It is indeed. So, I'm just gonna go this way. And all the way over here. You're gonna pass that house. Go all the way to this log house, the mushroom log house. And then here's the king. Oh, you speak our language. It's been quite a while since you heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have a little offer to you in the woods. Please enjoy your say. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name's Elzo. This this child is cool. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the princess Spiral. To do so, we need to reforge the broken Pecori blade. Ah, yes, and you came here now, hoping you'd find having the blades reforged. Well, hmm. Well, if that's what you're after, you'll need a mystic mystic elements for mystic elements. These elements are the crystalline forms of energies of this world. By infusing a blade with these energy these energies, can a new blade be forged? Here, give me your map. I can mark where these elements can be found. And that's where I have to go. The Earth Element can be found to the shrine north of Fristari's Bay. Speak to Fristari and he'll show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you find the Earth Element. Okay. So now we have to go back to Fristari. It was way up here. We spoke human. He <laughs> spoke human. And then. And it's your shine. Yep, and you'll move out of the way. And then you can make our way up here. Look, there's a hard thing, but we can't grab it because we're tiny. We can't go this way and it'll drown. So the only way we can go is in here and then in here. Oh, okay. So we can do that. And then we go in. So this, was, so this would be the Deepwood Shrine, the Minish Elder, the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something about being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey, hey, now, there's no reason to be afraid of saying get out of here. Let's not get out of here. Well, guys, that's it for this episode. And you may have noticed that I got uh, better audio. It's because I have a better microphone, the Blue Snowball, if you were wondering. And I have a new recorder, uh, OBS Studio. Which is open broadcast, some studio or something. I don't know. O open broadcast software studio. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is kind of a rebirth of my channel. I have a couple new games. I have this game. I have Terraria, Starbound, Stardew Valley, and Stick Fight the game. Which uh, in the comments below you can say which one I should play next. Okay. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>